Yeah. <laughs> cool. I don't want to get your shot. No, it's okay. There's so many birds. There's whales feeding, so they're all feeding. Oh, is that what's going on? I, I see a disturbance right down there. Schools of uh, fish, so the whales come up and then the birds, they don't yeah. get like whale just jumped right there. They're really? they all over the place. Are you trying to get, maybe one will breach. I've seen that before. Oh here. yeah, they've, they've been breaching since I've been here for the last hour. So, yeah, where do you see the, the Clusters. main action? Yeah, yeah, they're jumping yeah I, see, out. I see it right up right yeah. there. I saw one come out. Yeah. yeah. Pelicans will dive in where there's the food and the yeah. whales come up. And, yeah, yes, right there. Seals just jumping out everywhere. Seals, it's pretty awesome. Well, I was going to bring my cannon, but I didn't. It's going to be hotter tomorrow. Yeah. I'm just glad there's a couple little waves to ride here. It's very cold. I mean, I can handle 60, but 55. The water? Yeah, yeah it's 55. You see the whale right there. Yeah. My surf line forecast said it's 62. Okay. It feels better. Yeah, right at, yeah, that's this right here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right there in the yeah. yeah. Yeah, right. right there, yeah. Cold. It's cold here. That's amazing. There are whales there right offshore. Yeah, right there. I see them. Yeah. I see them. Wow. Activity going on out there for sure. It attracts the birds. That's great. Yeah. I see them out there, and there. Yeah, it's harder to see down here, up there. Uh, the oh yeah. The parking lot. The backs, everything's coming out. Every now and then they'll come up head first. Yeah. But it's mostly just the back. Show a fin. That's great. What what lens is that? 100-400. That's nice. I have a um, 55-250. Yeah, this is just my kind of surf thing. So you kind of most of the, yeah, they're pretty close right now, but most of the time they're uh, way further out. So you gotta have a little read. Well, as as the uh, because we're getting offshore, it's causing upwelling. You, you see the mirage effect on the cliffs? Yeah. The uh, the rangers couldn't see it. It's like doubling that they can. I don't see that.
What a treat! Huh? What a treat! Yeah, they're feeding. There's a lot of whales. I seen more whales yesterday. Really? Yeah, and uh, but it's good today too. But there wasn't as many birds. Wow. Birds. I'm going to come back tomorrow with my cannon. They just breached. Yes. I'm going to come back tomorrow with my good telescopic camera. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be worth it. Look at this. Yeah, looking over here, you can really see, I guess those are seals. Or yeah, whatever. yeah, seals. Yeah, they're really working. Sea lions. Yeah. You see the breach out there? Wow, they're way out there too. They're yeah. all across here. It's amazing. One time I was in Mexico down by Cabo, Cabo yes. Santo. Yes. And uh, there was a big gray whale, like maybe yeah. 80 feet out there. In the shoreline. Coming in and rolling. Yeah, they're scratching their back. That's what they told me. Yeah. yeah. Said it was... There's a sea lion right there. Nice. One time I was in uh, Los Grilas, sent them up down there, and uh, it was a big, giant well. I, I don't know what kind it was, but it was bigger than these gray wells. But uh, there was a group of us just like now, and that thing breached probably, oh, an eighth of a mile from us. Maybe. It went over like a thousand feet, maybe. Right? Yeah. It's huge. I couldn't believe it. And this is great. Yeah, it, it is. I... And there's no one here. No, it isn't. People, uh, look. Yeah. That's close. Yes. We go hiking up the top of the muscle point here. Yeah. You can go down there steep and stand in. And there's another beach over there, nice like this. Yeah, real isolated. It's on Vandenberg. Yeah. And, uh, it's hard walking through the sand, but it's, it's working once you get back there. But the beaches of Vandenberg are pristine. There's no one there. And the, uh, they have big reefs sticking out, and they're, you know, Herds of uh, sea lions. Nice. You know, they're strict about that too. We were there about two months ago, and that uh, that bird, you know, they had that yes. fence there. Yeah. There were people jumped that fence we down there party. Oh, that's not good. Vanderbilt police went down there and gave them a citation. Oh, yeah, it's probably thousands of dollars. They made them walk. Yeah, those are big well. They walk, uh, anyway, men walked up to their cars in the parking lot. Yeah. They knew them. They'd been warned before. I think they've been sighted before. Yeah. Those people don't give a shit. Yeah. It's, you know, they just tear shit up and trash it. Just being there disturbs the, all the animals. I've seen uh, Vandenberg. I've seen albacore this big around. Big nice. as a dinner plate. Nice. Are nice. people fishing off the shore? Oh, no. No. No fishing. You mean albacore coming close to shore? That, uh, what is it? Maybe I'm using the wrong word. The big uh, shellfish with a giant mussel inside. Abalone? Abalone. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're blue. Yeah. Yeah, huge nice. ones, big as a dinner plate. Well, you know, there's a hike you might like if you like outdoors. But, uh, yeah. On a little tide, we went down to some caves one time. Yes, I've heard about yeah, that. Yeah, it's nice. Those caves are really surreal. It's very beautiful. The, uh, the, the south facing beaches are, are very steep, cliff sides. And we walked down the beach, the low tide went across the rocks. And you got to get back before the high tide comes. Yeah, you get stuck. Yeah, They're the all minus, night. Yeah. The minus tide and uh, if the caves were empty, you could walk back in there. And the birds are taking a break. Yeah. I wonder what, kind of, wonder what kind of fish you're feeding on. It's, it's, it's just a little, uh, little bait fish. I'm gonna look it up. I know they're mackerel or something. The Pisma one time, they were actually came into the bay like that. People kayaks were kayaking right next to them by the Pisma here. Yeah, they're interested in eating, not, not uh, anything else. Yeah. Actually, they're in here. I've never seen this many whales at one time. I'm here a long time right now. I was here a short time yesterday. 
that they're way out there and they're coming in yeah, the all directions. Over. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. I there's, there's, uh, I don't think it gets any better than this. There's food out there for them. Not good as I've ever seen. Well, they say that the best camera for, for what you're photographing is the one you have, so... <laughs> yeah, well, you know, well, with my camera, I can blow the pictures up. I yeah. Bought. It's actually pretty remarkable. It's a pretty good camera. Yes. I didn't bring it today. I had it yesterday. Nice. Uh, I'll come back tomorrow with my Canon. It'll probably be here in the same situation. Oh, yeah. They were here yesterday. I, I wish they would let us out here at night. I know. I'd like to do night photography. Yeah. Especially now when it's clear. Yeah, and sometimes there are fogs. You can see the lights in Santa Maria, but it's still dark out here. Yes. Sure. Yes. I grew up where it was dark. Now I haven't seen a dark sky in years. Well, uh, I go up 166. Out for the For the Milky Way. Yes. I like looking at uh, some of the constellations. I just found out there's a star named Beetlejuice. Yeah, that's the big one in uh, Orion. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a giant red star. It's gigantic. Giant star. Uh, it's, it's bigger in diameter than the orbit of Jupiter. I know. Imagine it's that. Okay. And, it, and, it's, and it's not real hot. It's uh, cool. People talk about knowledge and what we know and how smart we are, but the scale of things, what they learn with the Hubble telescope and well, the new and the web is going up soon. That's well, going to be even better. It's exciting. We're learning how big this universe is. Yes. And they try to comprehend the math behind it. You just can't. You can't no, do it. You can't soak it in. Our brains are not made for no. uh, comprehending this kind of thing. And, uh, the, it's time that's so hard to comprehend. Yeah, you know, Einstein and Newton, those, well, those guys were playing we, with numbers. We have the beagle brain, you know. When, yeah. you, when, you leave, when you leave in the morning, the beagle doesn't know how long it, it, it was when you come back. You no, know? my brother was smart. He's about five years older than me when I was a kid. He said, well, if you look at the moon, you say, what's behind that? And he said, well, I know, planets. And then what's behind that? I said, well, there's probably a wall. He said, well, what's behind the wall? They started laughing. He said, see, you're going to have to keep learning all your life to yeah. learn what infinity is. That's when I learned what infinity is. Infinite, yeah. infinite numbers. There's a man uh, who was Indian, East Indian, who uh, created new mathematics about infinity. There's a movie that was made about him last year. Uh, this is in the, like, the early 20th century. He died of tuberculosis, but he was, he was as brilliant as now. He, he created a whole new set of mathematics uh, for infinity. And uh, his, his math proved that there are di different sizes of infinity. See, that's, that's beyond my thing. brain. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like, That's like somebody telling me uh, they understand quantum physics, and no. that, that's when I no, said, no. well, look, I, uh, I don't know about but this. You have to read Feynman. Simon, his, uh, he uh, invented the, uh, the symbolic logic for quantum mechanics uh, in the early 50s, and he was really into LSD. Probably helped him. The California dude, you know. And uh, he, he, uh, he said, if you claim to understand quantum mechanics, quantum physics, you don't understand quantum physics. That, that's what I told my friend. I said, look, my brain's this big, but I know I'm using probably just a couple of molecules. I don't know what you're talking about. I can't understand that kind of stuff. I have a hard time, you know. I know some algebra, but, and a little bit geometry, and I understand some physics and science, but... Yeah, go on YouTube and put in Feynman. I think it's F Feynman? Yeah, F-E-H-N-M-A-N. Uh, in his earlier years, he, he uh, sat in front of a camera and, you know, people just let him talk. And he just, 
I like scientists philosophers. They, uh, I, uh, they blow your mind, man. I thought my daughter, she's a teacher, and I worked out like a form of five, 3.4. Uh -huh. yeah. That's an infinite number. It doesn't it's, ever work out. It's an irrational number. Ir okay, irrational. I said, where's it in? She says, it doesn't end. But it is a real number. It, yeah. yeah, I guess. Even though it's irrational, it's real. But see, how long would the computer go before it would quit? It, it's not... Because that kind of stuff bugged me for a while. But what you have to understand about pi is that it's a relationship between two dimensions, not, not a thing into it, unto itself. It's just a relationship. Diameter and a circumference. Yeah, which is irrational. Okay. Yeah, I'm a guy who's part of it. We used to have, we did the algebra to work out our hydraulic formulas. Uh huh. And uh, the chief of quiz is on numbers. If you wanted us to know some of these friction loss and some of these pressures in our brain, you didn't want us to have to count on our fingers. Or, yeah. Now the young kids, they've got they computers. Have computers. They yeah. just hit a button and the, it does it all for them. cell phone. And yeah, the cell phone. There's an app for it. He, uh, yeah. I remember one guy, he told that chief, he said, look, I just turned the RPM knob, the throttle knob, and when I see those three farmers going backwards, I yeah, know the pressure's turn high. Turn it down. Turn it down. <laughs> and you know what? It makes a lot of sense. Yeah. If you're watching those guys. Right, yeah, it'll throw them in the, into the air. And the trouble, <laughs> but the truth is, you want to be smart enough so they don't get hurt. Yeah. And uh, Especially three of them at once. Uh, if you get some of those four-inch lines, if you put... If one of them lets go, the other two go, go flying. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Those four inch lines we use, five inch, 100 pounds of pressure on it, that's a lot of high well, volume of water. You have to turn it on slowly. Yeah. Right? So it doesn't slowly. rip. Otherwise, the it'll, air, it'll, uh... Well, the air is compressible, see? You have to yeah. get that air out of the line. Yeah. And, uh, actually, I had a captain that proved with math. He said, even water is compressible. Well, I said, no, it is. He had his under, under extreme That's condition. what he said. He worked yeah. out a farm and it had like 100,000 miles of pressure. Head pressure. Yeah, like uh, in the reactor up there. Oh, Getting yeah. Pressure. Yeah, what, a, what do you think about that? It's a there? fiasco. Isn't that something? Yeah. N nuclear power, at least the, what they call the, the uh, high pressure, high temperature reactors, they're uh, a money making scheme for corporations. PGE and all these. Westinghouse, uh, General Electric. Westinghouse, all the. They, inv they have all the patents. Well, you know, it's, man wants electricity, but I think they are we need it safely. We need it safe. There are reactors. See, the, these things are giving the word reactor a bad name because there are many different kinds of reactors that aren't like these. There are low pressure, what's called uh, li liquid salt reactors that are safe. I've heard of salt. Yeah, liquid salt reactor. Uh, I didn't, I'm, glad, I'm glad I met because I didn't know that, about that being so high pressure. I just oh, yeah. It, it's ridiculous. You, you have to have this gigantic containment system. Right? Is that when that core gets hot and they release that? Well, the problem, is the fuel they're using doesn't cool down very fast. So if the, if the cooling system breaks down, it it, uh, it melts down because it, it takes a week or two just to cool this to cool down. I know Japan and Chernobyl, their reactors didn't they heat up? And the firemen what, went in there and everybody got well, hurt. Yeah. What happens is the the, uh, the temperature gets so high that it, it electrolyzes the water. But it, you know, unless the water is continually flowing through there, you know, if it stops. The water boils off, forms hydrogen, and that blows that, up. Yeah, that's flammable. Hydrogen is... That can happen over here? Well, the, I, think, shut it I down? think it shut down. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. It, it, like I said, it's just a money-making scheme for big corporations. Well, I do know plutonium... I read a report one time where they had a plan of shooting it towards the sun. No. I said, that's crazy. How can they launch it? What about the launch pad? It's too, it's too, too. That's crazy. I thought, well, they're going to store it in Nevada in the cavern. And I thought, well, Dad found it anyway. No, the, that's the liquefied salt reactors can recycle all the fuel. They can use waste. They can use 
wait, wait. Thrown in for fuel. That's the way to go. Yeah. But do we have that? No. Because these, these, um... Politics. Yes. Politics. These people have so much money that uh, they tell Congress, Lock no, we, we don't want you to do that. If you, if you uh, start funding uh, liquid salt reactor research, we're not going to fund you anymore. So they don't vote for it. It's that's really politics. corrupt. Yeah, that's the lobbyists. Chinese, the Chinese are building liquid salt reactors they're one, a one. Safe one a day. Okay. Yes. That's one a day. That's good. They're, they're going to replace their coal burning plant. That's good. And, and they're modular. They, they, they come in on a truck, they take the stuff off the truck, put them together, and in a week they're generating electricity. I'm not even going to ask you if you believe in uh, global warming or climate change. My friend, she thinks it's a hoax. I said, well, how come, why would all the scientists around the world have a consensus? And it's carbon dioxide. I said, the carbon cycle, I asked her, do you understand carbon cycle? She well, says, no, I don't, but this this is fraud. And I said, listen. Yeah, no. That's fraud. <laughs> no. I said, you need to listen to the smart people who have a tool. Uh, it, it's like this. There, there are a couple of arguments. See, the, the one thing about science is that you can always argue about it, and if, if your arguments are valid every time, you know, your, your counter, counter measures are valid every time, then you have new science. Good eye. Okay, it's like this. Ask, ask your friend, um, did she enjoy the eclipse the other day? <laughs> yeah. Right. And uh, how was that predicted? We knew exactly where it was going to be and That's how long right. it was. It's called mathematics, right? Right. And, you know, those same people are also telling us that there's climate change. Right. And Using have, the same math. Same math, and, and they have special tools that can drill these core samples into the ice and look at the history. It's called evidence. They, uh, <laughs> yeah, and what, you know what I like about scientists is they're willing to say, you know what, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. And I'm, you know, that's... Everything I did was wrong, and here's why. That's, that's what science is. They're willing to argue the point to death just searching for the truth. Well, it, that's, that's their argument, is that, you know... Uh, I know because it has you're to be not real. a mathematician, you can't say that it's a hoax. Until you learn the math, you know, do I your homework. Said, you don't have to believe in gravity to know it's real. I said, I don't see you jumping on the damn building. Yeah, look at the waves. Gravity, right? That's gravity. You're interesting to talk to. I, uh, <laughs> I had a good conversation with you. This is pretty remarkable. We caught the best part of it, I think. Yes. Well, the tide is really yeah. out about five feet since I've been here. Oh, okay. See, it was up here when I got here. Well, I'm sure they'll be here again tomorrow. They were, uh, might be better than today. But we just caught that. Was it this good when you first got here? Uh, yeah, this, I don't no, know it wasn't. Left. The, the birds, it was, suddenly there was this climax going on. You know, feeding frenzy. Well, the fish probably disperse, and now they're going to gang back up again. No after again. Well, I, I'm glad I, you told me about the plant. I, I'm going to look that up. Yeah, I'm interested in that. I, I, go, I, I do photography quite a bit, and um, what? You know where Union Parkway is? In uh, San Francisco. Yeah, I live more than that. At the top, where it ends at the freeway. You can see the plant from there. Oh, nice. Yeah, it is clear. Nice. I've only seen it once, but I got a good picture. You know, with Sandberg being there, I know they don't have live nuclear weapons there now. No, they never they, have. Okay, but they have the delivery system. This one. Yeah, it's just tested. And with this, over here, it might not be the safest place to be. With all the chemicals. Uh, I haven't been over there, but if you go uh, to Google Earth, you know, and, and go along the highways, you can see their warning signs. Yeah, the highway. Well, I'm a big fan of Neil uh, Tyson. Yeah. Tyson. I like yeah. his teaching. Yeah. Carl Sagan, he's great. Yeah. Those guys open the door. And, uh, I listen to a guy named uh, Lawrence Krauss. Of course. He's, uh, he's interesting. Richard Dawkins and all those guys. 
our skills, our consciousness is able to hold contradictory thoughts at the same time. Like Think a about fireman, them like a fireman running into a burning building and arresting people. Yeah, everyone's trying to get out. Everybody's trying to get out and see the horns. What the hell's wrong with those people? Yeah. Those firemen are too brave. No, well, we've we just been trained. We knew the probability. And we had different thoughts in our head. Yeah. We tried to get out and we moved. Experience and training, we can safely, we can safely do that. We have the gear. We have the gear. <laughs> we couldn't do it if we didn't have that gear. Well, that, that technology is what people say. Right. Breathing. I had a bottle of air and I was in the house. By right. the time the fire flashed over, we were down low in the living room in the hallway and the fire just went completely through the house. Yeah. If we would have stood up, we would have got our face first. It's like a uh, slow explosion. But it, you know, we, uh, we got out of there okay. And the lady we were trying to rescue, she wasn't even in the house. She wasn't in the house. The neighbors were wrong. Yeah. So, uh, I, I like these new nozzles they put on the on the water truck, and they just come up, and the entire house is enveloped in, in mist. The yeah. fire just goes. Whoa. We have a pump that we can spray those out in the fall. Yes. And uh, it's got a strike tube down in Malibu that the Santa Ana is. We yeah. spray the whole house with foam and leads to the next house to spray it. The fire would come through there, and the house. Would, yeah. Okay. See that's that technology. Yeah. Think science. <laughs> put uh, the attitudes in the phone and make it sticky. Yeah. Oh, go down here walking. Where's the dog? My name's Mike. That's all right. Jay. Jay, see you again on the beach someday. Thank you.
exercise, exercise.